Hi there. The life of any animal from ant to well is a continuous stream of important decisions. Eat or spit out. Fight or hide. Resist or obey. Share or take away. Is this partner suitable for pairing? What role does intelligence play in making these decisions? And in general, what is an animal's intelligence level? The answer to this question is more difficult than it seems. The intelligence of animals is difficult to measure, unlike human intelligence, since they cannot express their thoughts through words. That is why any rating of animals on the intellect scale will be subjective. But today, we will tell you about the smartest animals, in our opinion. In first place in terms of intelligence specialist, naturally place primates. Monkeys, gibbons, chimpanzees, orangutans, and gorillas fall into the group of the most intelligent. According to the researchers, it is the superior primates who are able to perfectly recognize human speech, understand people, and enter into friendly contact with them. People can spend hours watching the behavior of monkeys, perhaps because they look something like us. Skills and emotions which were once believed to only be for humans are also found in primates. If you carefully watch the monkeys, you can see that they are prone to compassion, caring for each other, supportive attitude to the kids, the ability to share food produced. In the wild, humanoid primates communicate in sound and sign language. They make extensive use of tools. Chimpanzees are one of our closest relatives. They have almost the same genes and emotions as a person. These are very intelligent and sociable animals. Love, friendship, and trust are very important for all chimps. Chimpanzees live only in Africa. They eat almost everything, but they especially like meat. Galago is a little night primate, their favorite prey. But chimpanzees do not catch them with their bare hands. They make spears. To make a spear, the chimpanzee first breaks off a branch, breaks off the leaves, then bites off the end of the stick to sharpen it, and all of this in order to catch the galago in the hollow where these animals sleep during the day. With the help of sticks, chimpanzees also take termites from their shelters and eat them, and with the help of flat stones, they break nuts. The ability to use improvised tools can be assessed as a manifestation of intelligence. Now let's talk about elephants. Elephants have been faithful helpers of man for many centuries. They are called the most social animals with well-established communication. Elephants communicate using ultrasound rumble. This is a form of speech, scientists say. Elephants know how to greet each other with special gestures, such as hugging their trunks, as if shaking hands. Scientists watching the elephants in the reserves claim that elephants can laugh. The most amazing talent of elephants is their ability to recognize themselves in the mirror. Using the reflection, they try to examine those parts of the body they cannot see. This proves that the gray giants are well aware of their existence in the outside world. Scientists claim that elephants are self-aware. It's hard to argue with that because elephants, like people, can experience grief, joy, compassion, and fun. It is widely known that elephants in the wild observe funeral rituals. Finally, researchers were able to observe how elephants console each other. When an elephant is disturbed, it usually makes sounds and raises its ears. Other elephants from its clan come up to it and stroke its head with trunks or put their trunks in its mouth. These animals have a phenomenal memory. They can live all their lives and they live up to about 70 years old. They remember the people who caused them harm, or vice versa, the ones that came for good reasons. In India, as well as in Africa, a business selling tourist drawings made by elephants with the help of their trunks is flourishing. Few animals deserve such fame as dolphins. It is impossible not to fall in love with them for their grace, playfulness, and readiness to entertain the public. Dolphins are easy to train, and in captivity, they are easily taught to perform various tasks in exchange for a treat. Dolphins, for example, can master complex stunts, synchronize them with other dolphins, and even teach other dolphins the same movements. And they can imitate not only human behavior, but also sounds. And imitation is also considered one of the highest forms of social learning. 
These unique animals can emit about 14,000 different sound signals. They communicate with each other with the help of clicks and whistles. Each dolphin has its own specific voice, or rather, a whistle, which can be interpreted as its name. Dolphins are able to empathize and help their relatives as well as people. Perhaps the most curious aspect of dolphin intelligence is their ability to recognize themselves in a mirror, which also proves the existence of a sense of self-awareness. Certainly, to call a dog a primitive creature is quite unintelligent, and not one scientist will claim this. The high ability for dogs to learn discipline is a testament to their developed intelligence. Dogs have been helping people for a long time. They graze sheep on the mountain slopes, participate in the search for victims under rubble during earthquakes, they search for drugs and explosives, and help guide blind people. Dogs can quickly learn, are able to accumulate knowledge, and are familiar with a sense of justice. It is easy to teach the dog to count to 10, and the smartest four-legged animal can understand up to 150 words in the human language, mostly as commands. By the way, the most intelligent dog breeds are Collies, German Shepherds, and oddly enough, Poodles. Sometimes a person thinks their dog is stupid because it messes things up, tears up the trash can, and nibbles on the furniture. In fact, this behavior is an expression of their normal need for activity. Most often, the dog arranges a route in the home and spoils things simply because it is bored, and the feeling of boredom, by the way, is the privilege of highly intelligent animals. The better the brain is developed, the more it requires impressions. Crows behave interestingly. Crows can figure out options, solve problems, make plans for the future, and deceive for their own benefit. They throw a nut from a tree from a great height onto a hard surface. The shell bursts, and the bird reaches the walnut itself. Birds are proficient in theft techniques, using a complex strategy when one individual distracts and the second steals food. Crows have a pronounced playfulness, and this is a clear sign of intelligence. In the tropical rainforest of New Caledonia lives a unique species of crows. They themselves create tools for food extraction. For example, when they need to get a larvae hiding in a deep hole in a tree, they take a sprig into its beak, push it into the recess, and begin to poke the larvae. When the larvae gets bored, it clings to the branch and the crow immediately pulls it to the surface and eats it. In these birds, both social and family relationships are equally developed. Crows support friendship for many years, and married couples do not separate until the end of life. Unlike dogs, whose intelligence is recognized by the most notorious skeptics, cats are traditionally considered to be more cunning than clever. Many people are convinced that cats are more stupid than dogs, since they are almost impossible to train. They are very rarely seen on entertainment shows or in the circus. Indeed, it is almost impossible to train a cat to serve, sit, or lie down on command. But it's not about the intellect. Unlike dogs, who are social animals, cats are individualists. It is difficult to influence them with praise or punishment. They will not do senseless things, and from their point of view, tricks are just to please the owner. A cat will never do what it does not want to, which unknowingly can be taken for stupidity. In reality, it is a manifestation of a practical mind. They are excellent at learning complex behaviors on their own, using the same mechanisms as small children, observation, imitation, and trial and error. One example of training is by observing how cats learn to open the door. The most quick-witted of them are able to see how a person turns the doorknob several times to open the door in order to then easily enter all the rooms in the house. Similarly, watching the owners, many cats learn to use the toilet. It is known that cats have an extremely good memory, and if you open the door at least once after the cat has scratched it, it is likely that it will always do so. Ants and termites have a so-called swarm intelligence or collective intelligence. Ants are amazing insects. They look like humans more than you might think. They are able to unleash a war, send an army of soldiers to the battlefield, and take prisoners. They exploit the labor of other individuals, are engaged in the so-called agriculture, breed aphids, and use them as dairy cows. These creatures do not have a brain in the usual sense of the word. The so-called ant brain is an accumulation of nerve cells arranged in a certain way. Ants communicate in a complex and still incomprehensible language for scientists. 
When communicating, they use tactile contacts, the touch of the antennas and feet. The researchers found that red ants are capable of transmitting a large amount of information so precisely that the ants who are responsible for delivering food to their family unmistakably find a feeding trough with food. It turns out that ants are real communication geniuses and can solve complex spatial problems, but only in situations involving food extraction. That's all for today. Put like if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.